Tom Staniford may look severely underweight, but he's actually suffering with an incredibly rare condition, which means his body can't store fat under the skin. But despite it all, the 24-year-old has proved himself to be a remarkable young man. He has a law degree, is training to be a top professional paracyclist, and has a supportive girlfriend, Alice Miller, by his side. I never felt that my looks or my physical appearance set me out from everybody else. Tom was born without any complications and enjoyed a normal childhood. But at the age of 12, he began to lose the fat from under the skin of his limbs, his face and the soles of his feet. He has also developed hearing loss and type 2 diabetes. I would say the hardest part of my day is probably the first sort of hour or two after I've woken up. Um, just because uh, my muscles are very tight, my feet are very sore and it takes a while for me to sort of get moving, get the blood going. Today, 6 foot 3 Tom has 40% of the muscle of an average man and he weighs around 66 kilos. But it's not a case of eating whatever he likes and not getting fat. Everything must be measured out to make sure he eats the correct amount. But that doesn't get in the way of life with 23 year old Alice. He does the shopping, he does the cooking, um, I just kind of pick out the cakes. <laughs> the couple met through an online cycling forum three years ago and now live together in London. When I first knew him, I did feel a bit self-conscious and quite aware of other people's reactions to him, um, but now I don't even notice it really. For years, doctors have been baffled by Tom's condition. But scientists at the University of Exeter have finally been able to shed light on the source of Tom's conditions. Tom has MDP. It's extremely rare, with less than 10 people uh, throughout the world known to have the condition. After using new techniques to study Tom's DNA, they found a gene mutation, and it's hoped this will be used in the future to treat people with the condition. But in the meantime, he certainly isn't showing any signs of slowing down. The key thing is not to get your hopes up but at the same time not to be negative about what the future may hold. Focus instead on the present, on the now, 